aber muss ich die erwähnen, die ich nicht mag? Nein, erwähne nur die, die du... <lacht> oh, oh. oh mein Gott. <lacht> Vanessa! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna reorganize my bookshelf, which is pretty empty right now. Um, as you might know, I was in the US for a bit over a month and I had to move all of my books out of my shelf because I ran out of my room. Today is the day where I will finally put my bags to their place. They're in the hallway right now in boxes, so I'm gonna move them inside and put all of my books out and organize them by genre. So it's gonna be easy for me to put them into the shelf so it's not gonna be too messy. Um, yeah, and then after that, I will give you a bookshelf tour. A lot of people have been asking for that and today's the day. Yay! Oh, behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the camera is Maddie. She's filming because I'm too stupid to put up a tripod. So she's gonna help me out there. Um, so yeah, let's start. Bookshelf. Vanessa, let's get the boxes. Nice. Self promo. I'm also building my bookshelf right now. But I'm doing a little break. So, Vanessa, okay, let's get the boxes. Be strong. to work so I'm gonna move all of these onto my floor and then into this bad boy okay this is a bit cramped here because my bed is here and then there's my bookshelf but you know my plan is going to be that I put my romance books one two three this one is gonna be is probably gonna be empty because I don't have that many books I always think that I have a lot of books but actually I don't but that's only because if you know Maddie's room, <laughs> then you know why. Um, <laughs> fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. This is, oof, I don't know if I'm going to leave it there or if I'm going to move it out as well. But at the bottom, I'm going to put the books that I don't like, don't read, want to unhaul, have double copies of. And on here, I had my perfumes the last time. I need to see if I have everything here in the apartment, but I'm gonna try to decorate it a little bit. Yeah, let's go. So I try to organize. <laughs> Not here. I try to organize my books a bit. So on the right we have fantasy. There's dark academia. Fantasy romance is here. 
Um, <laughs> on here, we have the books that were at the bottom of my shelf, books that I don't like, books that I have double copies of, or just in general books that I haven't read yet and are probably not gonna read. I don't know, I'm probably gonna unhaul them, but that's a video for another time. So yeah, let's go. Let's start with my favorite author, who is, who would have thought, Stephanie Garber. I have a lot of double books, but we like, we stand, we support. I love her and we're gonna put her books into this corner. We're gonna put her here. We're gonna start with Carol Walls. And then I have four copies of What's Fun of My Heart. And then we have two copies of The Ballad of Never After. Okay. Next. Show me. Okay, next I'm gonna put the Red Queen series in there. One. Which one's uh, next? This blaue. The blue one. Done red and done gray. Red and dark blue or gray or whatever. We have uh, the Wicked King and the Cruel Prince and everything, which can go here from Blood and Ash. And then we have a couple of standalones, which I can fit inside. Let's see. Ta-da! First shrine done. Okay, change of plans. This is pretty ugly, so we're gonna move it. First shrine done. Second shrine done. We're gonna move onto this side now. Okay, now we have Chrissa Becca Ritchie, the Addicted series, the Callaway Sisters series, and Bad Reputation here. This is gonna go here, so. Oh my god! And the Like Us series, where's that? Damn, those are a lot of books. How am I supposed to carry these? when I get the rest of the series, but uh, well, I don't have them yet, so I'm not gonna stress about that. The problem is I have these two copies, the old covers of Addicted to You and Ricochet. I don't know where to put them. I don't have any space for them, so we shall see. Stimmt, hallo, 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 hallo. Oh. Girl. <laughs> Oh, Slayed. Ta-da! I'm done now with everything. All my books are stored into these bookshelves. I have organized this a little bit to make it somehow pretty. And now I can show you guys in what order I put my books in. Okay, so here are... A lot of romance books. We have. Um, Aber muss ich die erwähnen, die ich nicht mag? Nein, erwähn nur die, die du. <lacht> oh, oh. oh mein Gott! <lacht> Vanessa! <lacht> die Schraube ist raus! Passt noch mal rein, ja, oder? Ja. Oh, Marita, ich Warte, ich komme, ich komme, ich halt. Komm, okay. Lesson learned. <laughs> Not gonna put my foot on there. So, on the left we have the Hoop series uh, by Kennedy Ryan. 
We have Anastasia by Sophie Lard. I know the genre doesn't fit into the shelf, but I didn't know where to put the book. And then moving on, we have Mariana Zapata, Lucy Score, Anna Huang. I know I'm missing a couple of books by her. Simple Wild, Some Standalones. I want to read Better Than a Movie so bad. I still haven't done it yet, but I will. Then on the next shelf, we have Coho, Emily Henry, and Some Standalones. These are my Coho books. Love in other words, the Spanish love deception, love of all is like rom-com and everything. And here we have Emily Henry. I like the spines a lot and this one is an arc that I got back then and I bought the US version when I was in the States a couple of weeks ago. And I want heavy plays as a paperback so bad because how pretty would this look next to each other? But like, it's not out yet. I know that some people have the paperback, but I don't. So <laughs> we have to make this work with this lovely hardback, which is signed at least. Very pretty, I showed this in my book haul already, so. Okay, moving on with the third one, we have Krista Becker Ritchie. This is the Addicted series. We have the Callaway Sisters series, the Epilogue book, Bad Reputation, and the Like Us series. If you're wondering, why I have two copies of each book. Two years ago, Maddie and I <laughs> went to Paris um, to get the book signed and instead of bringing our own books, we bought the books again at the signing event. So we can look in, s no, wrong book, this one. There are character notes because, wait, this is signed. And some of these books have character notes. Let's go to which one? It was addicted after all. Yeah. We have the character notes here. This is signed. And here are the character notes, which are pretty cute. Yeah, this is the one for Lillian Lowe. Then I got for Daisy and Rye as well. Yeah. Ta-da! And then we have Rose and Connor. Ta-da! They're so cute. I was so happy when we got them. And I remember Maddie and I, when the books opened to the signing, <laughs> we ran to their table. We saw them immediately. We looked on the map. Oh, where are they going to sit? We sprinted. Like, honestly, it was so embarrassing. But like, it was fine. We got everything we wanted. And then obviously I had to ask for character notes for Some Kind of Perfect, which is the epilogue book. Um, here's the core six, I think. Lillian Lowe, Rose and Connor, and Rick and Daisy. So these are the notes that we got. Besides that, I think every book is signed, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I think so. Yeah. yeah. They are signed because Maddie and I were a bit crazy. We went the Lulu and we bought the entire Like Us series as well. Next, we have my Penelope Douglas Shrine. I went crazy to get these books. You don't even know how long it took me to find these online and not like sell my kidney for it. Um, we don't want to talk about how much I spent on these books. We don't. But like I have them, I'm happy that I got them. And then I have the Mystic Thought books as well. This is Hideaway and Kill Switch, which is the second and the third book in the series. They are signed, I believe, which is pretty cool. Um, and then one time, which is kind of funny, I won a giveaway by Penelope Douglas. So I have Bully as well, which is signed. They sent this book to me. This is so cool. My favorite book by them is False Boys. This is the first book in the Hellbent series, which is the spin-off series of the Fallaway series. You could read it without reading the first series, but I would recommend to read it. I like the vibes in the book, very fast and furious, very, you know, found family, small town. I love it. And I think a lot of you would too. I also like Misconduct. I know that a lot of people haven't read that. It's pretty underrated. And yeah, this is my Penelope Douglas Shrine. Moving on, we have V.E. Schwab on the left side. I've only read The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, which wasn't my favorite book, but I still want to give the other books a chance because everyone keeps talking about Victor, is his name, I think, in the Vicious series, and I want to read it. So it's been on my TBR for a long time, and I still want to read it. Next, we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. 
Maddie hates me for that, but that was my favorite as well, just because my expectations were so high. Don't ask me. I will continue the series, however, because a lot of people said that it's only going to get better. And I think that in each book, there's a different case. So I think this is going to be interesting. Moving on, The Unbecoming of Mara Daya. So good. I love the series. They give me a lot. Okay, so... Everyone keeps asking me for recommendations who give me Warren and Juliet vibes. And let me tell you, Noah and Mara, Noah, Shaw and Mara Daya give me Warner and Juliet vibes. She is kind of a crazy person. And when you read the book, you're just like, is this happening? Is she the villain? Do I trust her POV? Because it is her POV and her POV only. So you're just like reading and you don't know if, mm, well, can I trust her? So these books are so interesting and I would recommend to read them in one sitting and not read like one book and then read another book and then continue because you're going to be so confused what is happening. So I do recommend it. Next we have The Inheritance Games and The Hawthorne Legacy. I don't have the final gambit in the US version just because I don't think it's available yet, only in hardback and I don't want to get the hardback because it, ugh, it wouldn't match and it would drive me crazy so i only have the first two i do however have the third book as a uk version but i'm gonna go to that later these are my favorite covers ever they are so pretty the prettiest covers i probably have no wait no i have pretty ones but like they are one of the prettiest next we have lay verdugo shadow and bone series six of crows paperback six of crows hardback these i have read these i will do a reading vlog on this is the Legend series by Mary Lou in the Fairy Loot edition. They're kind of cool. Like they have these foiled covers and the spines are matching and this is so pretty. This is my Sarah J Maas shelf with Stephanie Garber. We have a Coral Thorns and Roses series with the old covers. I like them more than the new ones because the new ones are, the colors are too bright in my opinion. So I like having the old covers. I don't know if I want to get the new ones. I do want to get a Court of Silver Flames and that one is only available in the new cover. So maybe I need to, but that's a problem for another day. Then we have the Throne of Glass series. I've only read until Queen of Shadows. I still need to read these two and I'm scared of that one because this one ends on a cliffhanger and then you're going to read this book from another POV, from a complete different storyline, but that one is important for that book. So you see the problem here. Anyways, I will continue the series someday. I just don't know when yet, but I will. And moving on to my absolute favorite author, we have Stephanie Gaber, starting with the Carol series. And then this is where the fun starts. We have <laughs> we have four copies of Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is the normal one. I think this is the UK edition. This is pink and pretty and gorgeous. Then we have this one, which I bought recently in the US. This is the Barnes & Noble's exclusive edition. Hello, I saw this and I had to get it no matter how many copies I already have. This one is the very first edition that I got when the book came out. Yeah, it's just a normal hardback. And then this one is what Maddie got me for my birthday, which is the Fairy Loot Special Edition. And you would think, ah, oh, well, these, this, this cover isn't really that special, but <laughs> you haven't seen the inside. Look at this. Look at how pretty the book is. This is like the most gorgeous book to ever exist. And then the inside, first you have the art on the front and in the back and then this is also signed obviously and you can change the cover to this one i mean i like the basic one but like you could if you wanted to so and then i also have two copies of the ballad of never after so this is also the fairy loot edition which is like matching to this one just in purple i'm not the biggest fan of the outside of the book like it's too bright for me the insides however just as pretty as the other one it's gorgeous and if you know like the story behind it it's even more meaningful we have the same thing here with the covers i could change you know the dust jacket but 
Do I want to? No. So I'm going to leave it like that. This one I bought in the US as well. This is the signed edition from Barnes & Noble, I think. And I found this by accident because usually they don't sell this anymore because it was like a year ago when the book came out. So I was really surprised when I saw that and had to get it. I wasn't even planning to buy a book. But my favorite author assigned book that they don't sell anymore. How could I say no? Moving on to the shelf that I just ruined. I, I have to be careful here. So starting on the left, we have Fairy Loot edition of Shadow Me. Um, I turned to dust jackets here because I think that they're pretty cool. I can show you every book, actually. The other side would have been like this. It's very shiny. And I didn't like that. And also, this is like the normal cover. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, wait. This is like how the book looks like. This is the inside. It's signed as well. I don't think there's anything back here. No. Then we have Unravel Me with Adam, okay, the same on the inside. And then we have Ignite Me with Erin Warner on the cover. Same thing here, signed. I think the edges are pretty cool with the dark background and the lighting branches and florals. I think it looks pretty cool. This Ignite Me edition is my very first edition. I annotated this book and as you can see, the spines are cracked. If you've been paying attention, I don't crack my spine, so this one, yeah, I was pretty sad about it, but whatever. Next, we have another Ignite Me edition, and this one I have to be very thankful for Maddie because she saw Tahiri Mafi in the US and got me a signed book. Yeah, you know what that means? <laughs> I love it. Next, we have the normal Shadow Me series with the novellas. This is a UK version, so it looks slightly different. You can see like Ignite Me and Ignite Me here. It's just a bit different. The Red Queen series. I think there's a fifth book, which is a prequel. It's all of the novellas put into one big book. Oh, okay. Good to know. I don't have that one. Probably not gonna get it. I didn't continue the series after the first one, but I did like the first book, so. Then we have the Cruel Prince trilogy, which is also called Folk of the Air trilogy. I love the book very much i've read them last year i was pretty late on the trend but like i was really enjoying myself reading them but the characters are what made me love the book especially jude and then we have the Stone on air which came out this year in january i think i haven't read this one i'm kind of scared but i know that this is gonna be a duology i'm still gonna wait for more reviews to come out to see if i'm <laughs> To see if i'm gonna read the book or not but like i've bought it so i have to read it and then last but not least on the shelf we have the from blood and air series i only have the first three books and i think this is gonna be like a seven six book series and there are probably a lot more books out by now but i haven't read the books yet and i don't know if i'm gonna like them or not because a lot of people complain about what happened in the fourth book or something like that so I'm kind of scared and want to read the first three books first to see if I'm gonna buy the other books so we have to make this work i'm kind of cramped in here but it's it's fine it's it's for you guys um okay on the left we have the books by ronix i like this series a lot i still need to read the last book in the series which i don't have but i want to read it just so i have finished the books you know i hate it when i know that i still haven't finished it except when I DNF it, then it's, then it's okay. We have The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake, which I didn't really like. Moving on, we have a couple of standalones from fantasy books. I haven't read that many of these. I've read Serpent and Dove. It was an okay read. It's fine if you want to get into fantasy. It's enemies to lovers. But is it? Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen was one of the first fantasy books I've read and I loved it. Like you, you start the first book and you get thrown into the plot immediately. Like it starts right off with, uh, I, I don't want to spoil you guys, just start the books if you want a quick fantasy read, if you want to get into the books. Then we have the Fortuna Sworn series. I haven't read them. I don't know what they're about. I just have them. Maybe I'm going to read them. If you guys have read them, let me know if you liked it or not, just so I know if it's worth it or not. And then we have Hooked and then Zodiac Academy, which I love. I've read the first six books and ah, I remember reading the books, staying up for 
hours to finish the first book. I think it was like 8 a.m. when I went to bed. And there wasn't even a reason for me to stay up that long. And there was a cliffhanger, but like every book, of the series ends on a cliffhanger. Every time I read a fantasy series, I'm like kind of drained because so much information, so much plot, so much happening, and then I need a light read. And then it's kind of hard for me to get back into it. So I still want to continue the series, obviously, because I love, 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 love the series. But I'm gonna wait for the last book to come out this year, and then I'm gonna finish with books seven, eight, and nine. So last but not least on this shelf, we have on the left the Kat Marsden books. We have some standalone some series some books that i didn't like some books that i didn't like not every book that is on a shelf is a book that i didn't like it's just that i don't know where to put them and then we have ugly love by colleen hoover which is the ugliest cover to ever exist what the hell is that uh moving on wait what do we have here here are some german books some books that i'm probably never gonna read who knows then we have sophie lark two of her books which i haven't read yet then we have L. Kennedy, we have Lauren Asher, and I like the books, I just didn't know, again, where to put them because the colors are very bright and it just didn't fit anywhere, so... One of us is lying, still need to read. This is the final gambit and this is the UK cover and I don't like... What the fuck is that sticker? Why can't I remove this? The covers are pretty ugly, so gone with you. Then we have the Song of Achilles and this one, oh my god. Again, when Maddie and I went to Paris, we got these signed. We met Julia Quinn. This one is signed, just normal sign. And this one has my name in it, I think. Not signed at my all, tongue. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vanessa, and then it says, Beware the... <laughs> Maddie, what the fuck? Beware the mallet of death. The okay <laughs> cool anyways we got these signs so that's pretty cool some standalones again series that i didn't finish buying this is again um krista becker richie the old covers yeah again i just didn't have any space up there so they're gonna be here again six of pros and crooked kingdom and don't ask me why i have six copies of the series it's just i bought these in the us as well because i wanted to do a reading vlog there and i didn't i i i was supposed to do a reading vlog there but i just didn't have the time so now i have like six copies but you know it is what it is and then we have taylor jen can read which now i'm realizing that daisy jones and the six is up there but who cares right I still need to read both of them. Don't yell at me, I will. I held myself back to watch the Daisy Jones and the Six series because I want to read the freaking book first. This is my bookshelf tour. I am happy to have my books on my shelf again because it was pretty empty and cold in my room without the books in here. Now it looks somehow colorful again. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I hope I will see you guys next time. Bye!